Hi, I'm Francois. Hi. <laughs> this one. I didn't see those pictures. Where are they from? I'm really broody. Fancy French name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, just as a basic introduction, can you talk about your characters? What we're here for. <laughs> um, a different twist. Yeah, I play Creek. Um, she is one of the only people in town who was raised in Midnight. Um, she doesn't really have any supernatural powers, but she's really familiar with them because she's she grew up. It's not like anybody comes here and they're like, oh, I'm a wear tiger. Like you just kind of figure it out by trial and error of living in Midnight. So Creek's really. Um, um, got the rules of midnight down pat um, and there's kind of a question well if she doesn't have supernatural powers and everybody in midnight's like running from something or as a secret or a supernatural power then what is she doing there you know uh, I play Manfred who's a, he's a newcomer in, in midnight he's a medium he's had very powerful psychic abilities for a long time but, that, but he still doesn't control them very well and uh, uh, and ghost spirits have been taking over his body, <laughs> and uh, and also he's a he, he's been on the on the run from people he may or may not have hurt or scammed, and he's trying to find a place to rest and find peace of mind at midnight. Uh, and little does he know, the town is populated with a bunch of. Incredibly, incredibly powerful, <laughs> scary <laughs> beings. Interesting. So how closely do you follow the source material when developing your portrayals of the characters? Like, can you bring anything to it that's yeah. original or, or fresh? Oh. I don't know. M m most definitely, I think we, I think we have a loyalty to to, Sh to Sh Charlene's or, or the story and the characters that she cre uh, created, but but it's a new entity, and uh, we also have a loyalty to the, to the to the scripts themselves and the tone of the show, which I think is is, is faster paced than than the books, and um, and uh, at times darker and more violent. Um, but I mean, physically there are some changes I think I, we try to stay true to the essence of these characters and their and the relationships but what do you think? Yeah um, I think Charlene created like really cool characters that we were all excited to play and Creek I don't know I always am like I think Creek is a little bolder in the show than she is in the book but then again in the book there's like a scene where Manfred's getting attacked by a biker or something and she comes out and, like hits him with a chair, like breaks a chair <laughs> over the bike. Or, I, so I don't know. Um, but there's definitely. I think she has like really short black hair or something in the book. So there are physical changes, but we tried to do our best to, to serve the characters that we really liked. Yeah, Manfred's supposed to be covered in tattoos and piercings and, and bleach blonde hair, and uh, they yeah they wanted to go in a different right, like direction. Spike from Buffy. I got a, I got a few studs and earrings. Uh, I have a big tattoo I have a tattoo on my back, but they're covering the show. They're giving me new ones. Um, yeah, you have some. Yeah, I have some. I, yeah. like less is more you know I, we, I mean we have a shower scene like pretty quickly yeah pretty quickly I think, um, <laughs> I think there's definitely a lot of romance I and I think the, the, the dynamic is still steamy uh, I think a lot of the sexuality is, is implied more than shown but um, sexuality I can't believe I said sexuality <laughs> sensuality um, sensuality a no I think it is very on. sensual yeah I mean everybody's got like a flame basically midnight's like a very romantic town 
Right? Um, I listened to the first book on tape, and then I was kind of upset when at the end, Creek just like leaves midnight, and I was like, uh, excuse me, and they told me that wasn't going to happen here, so, but I was like, okay, well, I guess I get to be surprised by um, what happens, and the, the show has, like, stuff from the first, second, and third book, like, in the first season, um, so... It was gonna. It was, I felt like it was just gonna get confusing, right? Well, that's how I felt. Like I, I was cast at the very last minute, actually, uh, and I started reading. I, I read the first book, and after that, um, I was sort of confusing plot points and the or, from the things that were happening in the in the script that didn't happen in the book. And I, 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 I tried to. I mean, it's a lot of pressure, I guess, to like take a character that exists on in a completely different world. That, so I, after discussing it with Monica, the show's creator, I decided that I wouldn't read the second and third book, uh, that I knew enough about the, 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 yeah, you know, the, yeah, the nature of the beast, and, um, and that we could have more freedom taking it somewhere else, uh, not reading it, but other people, yeah, other people felt Dylan, differently, Dylan and, Dylan, who plays Bobo, like, read them all in, like, a day, and then told us everything that happened, and I was like, are you serious yeah. if that happens, and he was. But there's more research to be done in other areas, really. So. Did you do that before learning how to play? I met a few uh, psychics, yeah. But I didn't get a reading. I'm too scared. Do you believe in it? No, I don't believe in it. But I also... I mean, I don't believe in it. I... No. I, I choose to stay away from it. Okay. Uh, because even if I don't really believe in it, it creeps me out a little bit. Um, but yeah, I did meet a few psychics. And I thought... I, I wanted also to ground all these visions and hauntings and and, and, and something real and so I, I thought a lot, a lot and I read some about you know, just like psychotic uh, hallucinations or in, 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 yeah so that oh was, cool that's like cool yeah <laughs> yeah I mean, I also know a lot about that. I have that in my. Oh, I don't want to say that. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not, not it. me. I'm not. Let's get into it. <laughs> Your pets. Skip that. My pets. My pets. You have have schizophrenic a... pets. Yes. Right. So, what excited you about Brain's part? Like, what drew you to the project? Um, I was excited because I've never done a show like this before. I'm, I'm used to doing just, um, you know, family dramas that's set in Berkeley or Philadelphia or, or whatever. And um, I was excited to do a show about a different kind of family. Uh, for me, it was the people involved, really. I think everybody from the Neil Sarden of Lev, who directed the pilot, uh, to, to Monica's writing it, it, and the cast, it was just an exciting group of people that I, I, I felt safe uh, in their hands. 